Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this HP 250G8. Could this be the perfect notebook choice for general day-to-day -day productivity or even heading back to uni? Let's unbox the notebook, take a look at its key features and find out. Inside the notebook packaging, you'll find the power adapter off to the left-hand side with our G8 notebook situated in the center and on the right. This comes really nicely packaged with some soft cell foam to keep it safe in transit and wrapped up to look after it in shipping. First impressions are pretty good. It's got this nice textured finish on the top, but let's, um, let's probably take it out of the bag and, uh, and have a look. First impressions of the G8 are pretty good. It's got this nice textured finish uh, with kind of a shiny HP logo on the top. You got a bit of ventilation on the bottom, but all in all, pretty simple, pretty sleek. Lifting up the screen of the notebook, you'll find we've got a protective uh, cover on the keyboard, pretty much a full-size keyboard. So we've got a full number pad over on the right-hand side with just some slightly condensed in arrow keys to fit into this notebook form factor. Along the top as well, we seem to have some quite nice speakers. We will, of course, test those out later in today's video with a trackpad and dedicated left and right-click mouse buttons. The screen is actually pretty thin in terms of bezels with an integrated webcam at the top, which is always super useful for Skype or Zoom calls, tuning into a uni lecture, all that good stuff. Let's take a look next though at the IO on the laptop, connectivity, what you can plug up because that's quite important. We've got a dedicated headphone jack, which is great to see once again, perfect for those conference calls or Zoom calls. We've got a USB-C port, a full size HDMI, and then a standard ethernet connector. This is quite clever. The bottom just pulls out to make way for that RJ45 connection, meaning if you want to get wired into the internet at work and don't want to use the laptop's great included Wi-Fi functionality, you can absolutely do so. Switching to the other side, it's nice and simple with an SD card readout on the left-hand side, always really handy to see for transferring photos or files, alongside a pair of super speed USB 3 ports. You've also got a power connector at the back right for charging the notebook up, an area where this laptop excels. With around nine and a half hours of battery life, you've also got plenty of juice to keep you going through a work meeting, a uni lecture, or just a few hours working out and about. The notebook's lightweight design from 1.74 kilograms also keeps it really portable and easy to throw in a bag and take with you. While 250 gigabytes of fast NVMe SSD storage ensures your laptop boots up nice and quick. Speaking of which, let's power this notebook up for the very first time, give our screen, our webcam, and the keyboard, of course, a bit of a test. I've gone ahead and just completed the laptop setup process, really didn't take too long at all, and we're now into Windows. You can see the full HD 1080p laptop display looks pretty sharp, and the colors so far look good. But here at eBuy, we like to test things a little bit more conclusively, so we've got this HDR video that we're gonna play out, and this should give us a better idea, really, of the laptop's color reproduction, screen quality, all that good stuff. What we're trying to make sure here is that the notebook is more than good enough for consuming some videos, watching a bit of Netflix, sort of enjoying content in the downtime of studying or working. It helps to make the notebook that bit more versatile and the screen looks sharp, the colors look good, and considering the laptop's positioning in the market, this is pretty impressive. How about we test out the speakers on the notebook? The screen's good, the webcam works wow, but what about the laptop's inbuilt speakers? This is often an area that more budget or work laptops kind of fall down. So I'd be interested to see what HP have done with the 250. Straight off the bat, that's not too bad so far actually. This nice row of speakers at the top of the notebook really kind of fire that sound right towards you, which is always really, really handy. And actually the kind of high and mid tones in the music feel quite spacious. All in all, actually sounds a lot better than I was perhaps expecting for a notebook like this. It is always great to have some good speakers built into a laptop, whether you're sharing videos or documents, or as I say, consuming content. It's nice to have a notebook that really can tick all of the necessary boxes. And that's, I think, the best way of summarizing the HP 250. What it intends to do, it does well, with a solid webcam for Zoom and video calls, a good microphone built in as well, as well as solid speakers, and a nice screen that's able to work well in work environments and school environments, but also when it comes to consuming a bit of content on the evening, on Netflix, YouTube, or whatever else it may be. And with that, that pretty much wraps it up for our first look at the HP 250. Thank you very much for tuning in to eBuyer, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.